Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got a yo, we got a LNX goon confronting Boosie, man. Or, or at least that's what the headlines have stated. You know what I'm saying? Um, Kylie Jenner under fire for her reaction to the to the Astro World tragedy, man. Um, who else we got over here, man? We got Jay Z on Clubhouse, man. Uh, Just Blaze responding to Kanye West statement, and we also have um, uh, what else we got over here, man? And thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content. It makes it makes your boy look good. You see. I'm saying, man, makes me look good in front of my peoples. You, you follow me, man. You know what I mean? They're gonna think I'm worth a damn. Okay. Um, hit that notification bell so you can be on deck when we drop the insanity, man. Because every single day the giant drops. And of course, the subscribe button is waiting for you to tap it. So go on and give it a tap, man. You know what I'm saying? We giving you good content so you can have discussion with your peoples, man. Hey, yo, man. First on deck. You know, rub my rub the spit off my phone, man. Because you know sometimes your boy. You know what I mean? I got a lot of saliva, man. That means I don't have bad breath. Look. Oh, by the way, um, my people show me an article about body donation. You know, like after you die. And 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 you people's good efforts to support science in your community. Apparently, right? And, and this ain't about hip hop, but you should probably know this. You see what I'm saying? I'll be giving you good content so you can talk on talk about on a good date. You know what I mean? Apparently, a Louisiana vet's widow was mortified when she found out that her husband's body, which was supposed to have been donated for scientific research purposes, was actually dissected in a hotel ballroom gore circus. You like, come again? Listen, grandma, who is absolutely adorable, I believe her name is Miss Elsie, okay, initially tried to donate the body of her veteran husband to LSU, but LSU rejected it because he had COVID. Okay, I get it. You see what I'm saying? She wanted to carry out his wishes by donating his body to advanced medical science, which was a cause that she linked to his lifelong pension for patriotism and service. She was mortified to learn that her late husband was actually dissected before a paying audience in a hotel ballroom in Portland, Oregon. That's why, man, Oregon... Listen, a touring group billed as the, quote, Oddities and, Curi Cri Oddities and Curiosities Expo close quote, charge up to $500 per ticket for the dissection event. That joint sounds like straight Ripley's Believe It or Not. You know what I'm saying? Grandma Elsie stated, quote, as far as I'm concerned, it's horrible, unethical, and I just don't have the words to describe it. I had, and she like 98 years old, man. You know what I mean? If she don't got the words, she said, I have all this paperwork that says his body will be used for science, nothing about this commercialization of his death. Close quote. Ain't that effed up, man. If you know Miss Elsie, man, give her a hug. You see what I'm saying? If I knew her personally, I would give her a hug, man. I mean, don't don't say why you're giving her a hug. Just give her a hug. Because you know what I'm saying? That was her lifelong love. Her, her, her lifelong love. You know what I mean? It, that reminds me of that story that came out in 2019 about the dude that was horrified about his mom's body, you know, being donated to medical research. And then he said, quote, she was then supposedly strapped in a chair on some sort of apparatus and a detonation took place underneath her to basically kind of get an idea of what the human body goes through when a vehicle is hit by an IED, right? Close quote. That's messed up. Literally, right? Look, the man said the first agent that told him what, what happened to his mom's, like the FBI agent, described seeing buckets of human heads, arms, legs, male genitalia in a cooler. Okay. Uh, on one wall hung the body of a large man whose head had been replaced with the head of a small woman sewn on in a Frankenstein manner. Right. The macabre display was described as a, quote, morbid joke. Yeah, yeah. It ain't hip hop news, but it's free. You follow what I'm saying? Man? You're welcome. OK, don't don't you have something to talk about now with your peoples, seeing that sometimes you be awfully boring. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, let me be clear, though. Let me be clear. These stories about the whole body donation thing are not to be confused with organ donation, which is much more heavily regulated. Organ donation helps kids get eyeballs and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? But that other stuff, you know what I mean? Like, don't be using my body to determine how many anal thrusts it could take before it explodes, man. You see what I'm saying? Just cremate my joint, all right? Incinerate it, all right? You look, you're looking at your hand longingly like, I polished my silver with that hand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And now look at what they're doing with it. Um, we done told you about Kanye West being on Drink Champs, right? And he had a lot to say when he was asked to make a decision between Swiss Beats and Just Blaze. Kanye said, quote, well, Swiss Beats definitely because Just Blaze is a copycat, you know? Now, when Ye said that, 
the room got ridiculously quiet. Like someone cussed in front of an abusive parent. You see what I'm saying? Kanye looked around like what? You know what I mean? Like his supervisor was in a room, but he wasn't aware. Okay. He continued to say, he get credit for Jay-Z's blueprint. And I did the first half of the blueprint. And he just copied my half. I mean, look, look where I'm at today. And look where he at today. So that should show you. Close quote. That's what Kanye said. It was priceless. All right. Now, for the sake of history, what's considered to be Jay-Z's best album, right, was the blueprint. And if my information is correct, right, well, Kanye just said it. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But the blueprint was produced by both Ye and Just Blaze. So for Kanye to say that about the producer of one of Jay-Z's greatest accomplishments, it held a lot of weight. And the crowd, when he said that at that moment, it, they gave us the gravity of his particular statement. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's interesting because I think when you make a lot of money, the little tiny things that you say, you know what I mean? Freaking Elon Musk was like, here, do doji, 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 and the freaking stock for Dogecoin like shot up. You know what I mean? Um, Listen, <laughs> after all of that, Just Blaze entered the chat. The man posted, uh, what, what did he post? Let me pull it up real quick. Just Blaze stated, he said, well, that was unfortunate. I'm only addressing this publicly because it was stated publicly. I'm not here for the mudsling. I'm just a bit confused and disappointed. None of what, this is a good start. I just want to throw that out there. Just Blaze, it's a great start. None of what was said tonight regarding me fits with any of our history or our previous interactions, particularly in light of the very recent attempts to work together again. Through recent years, he has reached out to collaborate on various projects, including a much rumored collaborative project that he was looking for me to handle a good amount of. It's unfortunate. It unfortunately never saw the light of day due to reasons unrelated to me. Most recently, a I love when people are like, I don't know if this man has somebody like look over his work. You know, sometimes people, they just like, yo, man, read this before I send it out. Like, so, like clearly somebody read through this thing and it was on point. It unfortunately never saw the light of day due to reasons unrelated to me. Most recently, a couple of months back, I woke up to a literal red alert from his people that was that he was looking for me for his last album at the 11th hour. In other words, it was like a like a late registration type of situation. We tried to pull something off, but it was a bit too last minute regarding that one comment. This is just Blaze talking here regarding that one comment. Well, my people's uh, sending me more story. Mm. No, no, no. We're going to talk about that tomorrow uh, regarding that one story. Respectfully. I'm happy for him and the fact that he was succeeded in the ways he wanted. He, he has succeeded in the ways he wanted to, but not everyone wants to be where he is. Everyone's definition of personal success is a bit different. I'm quite happy where I am creatively with my family and my life in general. We were a part of history together and I wish him well and continued success. Media, please do not clickbait this. Please, y'all. Uh, close quote. Ju uh, just, just blaze came through with the proper response one of the best responses i've heard since doing celeb source shout out to just blaze for coming through very classily right very much very much classy i don't know what the word is that i should be using classily whatever okay think of the myriad of things just blaze could have said and the man came off like that salute to that man much respect for that you see what i'm saying because, you know, like when, when when artists, sometimes they say things back and forth. Look, my people show me a, a, a statement today about diss tracks. The, the joint said like this. Shout out to the dude that came out with it. I don't know his name. But the dude said something along the lines. Of, like if you the dude, just post it in the comments. The dude said, a diss track is nothing more than two men sitting in separate rooms writing poems about each other. Right? Tell me that ain't a priceless quote. Whoever you are, sir, that said that, you're a G. Anyway, um, shout out to Just Blaze. Salute to that man. Salute to that man. Much respect for that. All right? Let me do my shout outs real quick. Do I got a lot of shout outs today? I don't think so. Um, some of y'all like the one shout out. I like multiple shout outs because I love people. Nick Sim came through and said, damn, celeb. It doesn't matter if you have an elementary school degree. Timing is everything. I think he quoted me. But um, it's true. It's 100% true, and I, I wish more people would know that and understand that. I mean, you should be as smart as you can because you have more of an option of words to select from when you say what you say. You see what I'm saying? And, and then you can time your time everything even better because you have a wider array of words. So, of course, if you can, study a dictionary. But if you can't, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, look, Das Indigo came through and said, Celeb, let me find out you stand on the square. I peeped the scripture you chose to quote. Close quote. I don't know what that means. Stand on the square. 
But he gave me a couple of hundreds, and um, that's Indigo always been holding us down. So shout out to you, big dog. Um, yo, uh, Yazayze, Yazay, Yazay, why Yazay? I don't know what the person is. Why Yazay? I don't know. My man said, yo, celeb, your energy reminds me of Nori. Yo, that is one of the biggest compliments I could ever receive because I love Nori. You follow what I'm saying, man? So shout out to you, man. And of course, Yolanda McCoy says Psalm 133 was exactly what I need to hear at the perfect time. Right? Talk about timing. You see what I'm saying? That's right. We quoted Psalm, um, Psalm, uh, what is it? 133 yesterday. And of course, Nino Brown. I, I know. Look, Nino Brown. You know what I'm saying? You, you poison the community, but we love you. Uh, he said, Yo, Celeb, you got me crying today. It's like, it's like being rich and I can't spend it in front of poor people. That's what I, that's what I feel like the N word is. You know what I'm saying? When I say ninja, ninja, nigga, right? I feel like everybody's looking at me like, oh, you can't do that. What? You can't spend money in front of poor people? <sighs> Let me get right back to it. Um, you ain't come here for all that, right? Some of y'all did, actually. Listen, we, we spoke about Just Blaze um, responding to Kanye West. He gave a very classy response. Jay-Z has also entered the chat. Jay-Z had something to say about that. Take a listen to what Jay had to say. Um, I, see Nori, I see Nori down there. Nori over there lurking. Yeah, Nori, Nori in this room <laughs> yeah. somewhere. And yeah. uh, obviously yeah. it was it was a lot to talk about. Um, I mean, I don't want to ask anything specific because there was a lot to take in it. But I just want to ask you, did you watch it? And what did you think of it? Yeah, um, Nori sent me a piece. And, I, and I, I've seen a couple pieces. I, I think, you know, again, everyone is entitled to opinion. And everyone can see sees things through their own lens. And it may not, you know, some of it could be true. Some of it may not be true. But that's the lens that you see it through. So you just speak into your truth. And I think the one thing I would say out of the, you know, all the pieces I've seen is, um, you know, maybe the Just, the Just Blaze thing was a bit unfair. Because um, if you're making an album, if you're creating an album um, and the, the assignment is soul samples, everyone's coming with soul. It's it's not it's not um, you trying to make a cohesive piece of music. I don't think anyone was copying off any. You know, Bink has this problem, and you know, I think everyone created for the project. The the thing was the baby was the blueprint, and I think everyone should be prized for what we created. You know, it's in like a, I don't know what you call that, the Library of Congress or something. It's like it's something that we all should be proud of, and everyone should be prized for you know their contribution. Um, I mean, some of some of some of those songs on there you don't know in Song Cry, like you know some of the pillars of that album, you know. Um, if you and you know everyone, everyone had a contribution. I I would say, and I don't think anyone was copying off anyone. I think Bing did what he bought, what he bought to the table, and you know we all had the assignment and created this one body of work. You know, other than that, you know. You know, again, it's, it's everyone, anyone's opinion of what they believe is, you know, their truths. Everyone's going to have a different truth. I'm over here like, yo, good answer, good answer. I, look, I love it when grown men discuss our differences like grown men. You see what I'm saying? You do know all disagreements does not mean anger or violence is necessary. You can disagree now. And after you do that, you can go and get some chicken. Remember this clip? I'm the head nigger in charge. Come on, let's get something. All right, y'all know the drill. Post a classic in the comments below. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I use that moment all the time. Every time I argue with anybody, I'm like, all right, now let's go get something to eat. You know what I'm saying? And finally, a Travis Scott Astral World Festival ended in multiple deaths and injuries. Now, when people from the back rushed towards the stage, they crushed to death the people in the front of the whole thing okay travis scott was on stage and apparently he didn't realize how bad it got and he continued playing eight people lost their lives approximately 300 were injured i saw the vids it was horrible and i think about dumb things like what's the last thing i hear before i go you see what i'm saying i don't want it to be travis scott you know what i'm saying look kylie jenner scott's bm posted photos during the stampede one person posted uh, they tweeted out quote kylie turned off her comments too how unfortunate that these things might ruin your day while others died. Close quote. That's because she posted like pictures of the whole stampede with the ambulance like 
in between the whole thing. It was just bad. Like I'm like, ain't she the one that did the Coca-Cola commercial? I don't expect, I don't expect too much good to come from her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kylie, if you're listening, my bad. But it just is the way it is. You probably don't expect much from me either. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't expect much from me either. Like, I think we could be a shorter. Well, forget it. And finally, finally, let's wrap this up here, man. This might be a little bit long, but sometimes some of y'all like the longer vids. Um, look, look at this video uh, with Boosie responding to um, an LNX goon and post your thoughts in the comments below. Take a look. I know you. You the rapper the boost who be talking about me and my friends and my nieces. My niece, Lenai's ex, that's my niece. And bitch, I'll beat you up. Talk shit now. Talk shit now. Whatever the fuck you is, you better bitch, get the fuck out of here. Bitch, I ain't no steroid punk. Bitch, fuck you and that's ball that's hell out of here. Come on. You know that line cost $8, bitch. Fuck all of these problems. Bitch, fuck you and that's ball that's hell out of here. Whatever, 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 that looks like it wasn't a real thing. It looks like it was kind of fake. The only part that actually looks real in that whole thing is Boosie's response, at Boosie's responses, right? Because what he said at that moment, that looks kind of real. And what he said at the tail end as he was walking, as he was being pulled off, that looked kind of real. Everything else just seems set up. It all, the whole thing seems fake. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for Celeb News.